Hey guys, welcome once again to our show, Static Talks. Today we have an amazing guest. He's a really good friend of ours and, you know, we consider him as well a fam. I actually call him Uncle Tim. And I'm sure most of you guys already know him, uh, but those of you guys that do not know him, make sure you guys stay connected because we have a treat for you and we have the one and only Tim Story. So we want to welcome you to the show, Tim. We have a treat. <laughs> We have a treat like when your favorite Thea comes over and she decides <laughs> to make food. <laughs> yes, yes. A hundred percent. Like it's a special, special guest, a really special guest. I'm for those of you guys that um might um those are the few percentage that might not heard of Tim, like he has, you know, mentored a bunch of people out worldwide and you know, he has a lot of lot of valuable content that we're gonna bring to you guys. So um, but welcome, Tim. We appreciate it. Thank you for inviting us to your home here at Newport Beach. Yeah. Beautiful. I love to come here. If I get a chance to come to Newport Beach, especially to come here uh, to see uh, Tim, you know, I'll, I'll make the trip. Yes. <laughs> and it's so beautiful today. Uh, the ocean is right down the street, right? Yeah. And uh, so it's good to have you here. No, thank you. And and I'm excited about what we're going to talk about today. You were, we, were, we were discussing before the podcast this idea about business and yes. helping people that are even struggling because there's a lot of good people struggling in business, right? Yes. Especially nowadays, you know, we have some, some of the business slowing down. So we we're excited to bring a lot of value. We're excited to talk about business and get a dive in a little bit more into it, you know, cause obviously, as you guys know, you know, Tim story owned multiple business. He has been really successful as far as that goes, mentorships and, and many different ventures. And I think also uh, one of the the great things that I even learned myself and he I've been mentored is uh, how he's been able to uh, brand and help and impact so many so many people's life. So uh, guys, make sure you guys stay tuned, watch all the way to the end because you know Tim, he doesn't he, he's not just in every podcast. And today we feel we feel really special to have him. So um, uh, Tim. And we were, we were talking off a little bit off camera. Um, you know, one of the things that I, I, I see a lot of are people like ask questions. Yeah. And we recently, um, you know, recently started helping out um, some people in coaching and, and, and they, they're looking for more of a spiritual help. And what I love about, you know, what you do is that you're not afraid to talk talk about it, right? Um, we uh, we were just talking about the interview you had with Grant Cardone, which is a really, really cool interview that you yes. did with him. And you guys just kind of went back and forward on some of the myths that some people think or, you know, and, and just you just started to um, just give a lot of information. And I know you have a huge background, you know, as far as that goes mm -hmm. in experience, right? But so the thing with me about um, life, uh, you've heard me explain it to you before. There's, there's different areas of your life. So there's your yeah. spiritual. Then you have your mental, which is your clarity of mind and your strength of your mind. Then you have your physical, your body. Okay? Yes. Then number three, uh, I'm sorry, number four, you have your job. Number five, you have your finances. Number six, you have your relationship if you're in a romantic relationship. Yes. Number seven, you have your family, your immediate family. Number eight, you have your social life. Okay. Yes. So most people in life are just going after like their job and their yeah. finances, maybe their body make sure they're in shape, their mindset. A lot of people don't pay attention to their families because they get too busy. Yes. Uh, a lot of people's, their social life is good, but too busy. But a lot of folks don't pay attention to their spiritual life. Yes. So that's where I think that people have been nice to me at conferences because, you know, I speak in the biggest conferences in the world. Yes. Um, all over the world. And they let me talk about spirituality because... It's part of who we are. A hundred percent. Everybody's spirit is crying out for yes. something. Yes, yes, and I and I love that. And and just like you mentioned, uh, one of obviously best selling, selling books, you know, the Miracle Mentality. I think is one of the top books to read. You know, as yes. far as like uh, self improvement, business, and in life in general. I personally went through it like probably like in a in a day. You know, I was just <laughs> going out. I was like, wow, like I I really I love you know some of the things that you talked about your life's experience and. You know how, um, and and you talk about those eight things in the book, right? And how to, and some people might think it's a little bit overwhelming, but I think we we could we could manage it pretty much all, right? And we could uh, attack all those areas if we are efficient with what we do. And I think that's one of the um, no doubt about it. So I think most people have never heard anybody break down those eight areas, but now that you know about it, this and think about it, even like the mindset, 
So one thing I like about what you're doing to develop yourself is you're constantly learning. Yes. You're you're listening to other podcasts. You're going to seminars. Yeah. You pay a lot of money sometimes to go to these seminars and learn, yeah. right? Yeah. You're reading books, yeah. um, watching documentaries. So you're you're building out your mindset. But on the spiritual side, is that the Bible talks about there was a person that built their life on the sand and another person who built it on the rock. So it just seems like the 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 smarter thing to build it on the rock. Yes. And so that's why even as a teenager, uh, I was already very strong with God. And I just said, no matter what anybody thinks, I'm really going to build my life on my relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's what I did. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, that's powerful. And, um, and I love that, you know, and I think, um, and, and I see it from, you know, just from, for the years that I've, I've been knowing you, um, I love how you, I could see the, how you walk in peace, you know, mm-hmm. you're somebody that observes watch right and 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 listens right and um and then you you always have a good message seems like you always before you speak you have some good information or or you serve somebody by you know giving them a kind word thank you or guiding them and i love that you know i think uh, a lot of people get lost a little bit especially the figure that you are like right helping like you know top celebrities like one of the most recognized people even in the world and having a portfolio like you do like most of those people get lost in it and, and they forget about that touch. Yeah. And um, mm-hmm. they, they forget to come back and have that peace, you know, and that true communication with people. And I, yes. and I just love that about, you know, about you, Tim, and, and I, I truly do respect that. And um, one thing that it's, um, if, if I, I would want to ask this question uh, to you. Are you somebody that comes from uh, well, Tim? Because I know we have a, a couple uh, or part of our people from audience say, like, I don't come for money. Yeah, so I don't just I can't find a way, you know, like I don't I, I don't have somebody investing in my company or investing in myself. Was that you at some point or you had to climb your your way? Yeah, for 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 my family, like many people watching, uh, we came from um, lower economic um, family, which we would have called lower lower income. But I love what my mother said. She says we might be lower income, but we're not lower class. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That was, that was a different thing. Yeah. So uh, I was born in Compton, California. We had seven people in a t- two-bedroom apartment. And so we were cramped and crowded. My mother uh, worked at a donut shop. She's Spanish from Spain. Oh. And then my father is Cuban black. And so he was a steel worker. So we, 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 we slowly started to, to, to move up in life. Yeah. But to think that one day, you know, I'd go from seven people in a two-bedroom apartment to to later in life living in Beverly Hills with a house that had seven bathrooms and three fireplaces. So um, there's something that got me there. Yeah, in a little while, I'm going to tell you part of that secret. Yeah, okay. No, no. That's, that's awesome. And now you needed more people. You had more rooms and people in the house. <laughs> That's right. the truth. No, that, well, that really is the truth. <laughs> in fact, I had a um, I had a lady that was working at my house, and she would she was the housekeeper. And at the time, I was living by myself in this big old house because my kids are had gotten older already. And I remember watching her one time; she was just dusting the same area over and over because <laughs> she had run out of places to dust. Wow, yeah. it was already clean. It was already clean. Yeah, <laughs> but um. That's amazing. The thing that really helped me to get from one place to the other yeah, is to think uncommon. Okay. Uncommon is not regular. It's not normal. Okay. And I think that the reason someone like yourself is doing so well is you know what it's like to have your back up against the wall. Yeah. And a lot of people that have the back up against the wall that's when they become uncommon. Yes. Because it's easy to be common if everything is just easy. Yep. All right? But when things get difficult, you have to you have to cry out into your inner self and say, you know what? I need to do something different. Yeah. And so I became uncommon in my discipline so you have to have uncommon discipline. I became uncommon in my faith. I've been became uncommon in my dreams 
And so I think that that's what this world is crying out for is they need to become uncommon to get out of the situation that they're in. Absolutely. A hundred percent. And yeah, just like you mentioned, I think some of the times we there's limited mindset, you know, it's like, hey, this is where I come from, maybe from this neighborhood or this and this and that, right? And and we limit and and honestly it's not it's not easy, but at the end of the day it's doable, right? Yeah. I think is um if we if we look ourselves in a mirror, you know, if somebody that's struggling, we we gotta analyze, you know, what are the things that we are maybe not doing, uh, especially within those eight areas that you talked about, right? Yeah. That is really important to to be working on constantly and just leveling out and saying, okay, I need a. But I like what you said that it's not, it's not easy, yeah. but if you do it for a long period of time with the right mentorship, the mentorship yes. and the tutoring is very important, that even if it takes you two years, four years, six years, eight years, at least it's not where you used to be. I'm sorry. And um, it's the same thing with like, with exercise. Sometimes someone will get like even 50 pounds overweight, 70 pounds, 100 pounds overweight, and they think to themselves, I'm too far away. Why don't I just let myself go? Yeah. That's the worst thing they even think about because you're not ever letting yourself go because your bad health is going to lead to a bad thing, right? Yeah. So what I find in people that decide to lose a lot of weight if, the, if you just start a little at a time, a little at a time, and stay consistent over six months, over one year, over one year and a half, it makes it worth it. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. It makes a huge difference, right? Because I think nowadays, like the, the the days that we're living in, you know, there's the instant, right? The instant gratification. I want to now, yeah. like, I want to look like this now, but I think um, just being able to understand that, right? And, and enjoying those moments and living the present, which I see, I totally see that. And I mm-hmm. definitely have learned that from you as well is that like you'll get to where you want to get to, right? But just enjoy the present. And yeah. that's really powerful. But I think I think what's what's awesome about it, and thank you for noticing, oh. is that like currently, as you know, I'm in 79 airports around the world. Yes. Where I have three shows. One is a talk show where I interview top leading people around the world. The second is a motivational show where I speak for like five, seven minutes. And then the third is questions and answers with Tim's story. But that's also in millions of hotels, the top hotels in the world, Ritz Carlton and Montage, it's all in the in the hotel rooms. But imagine that I got that. Um, I'm in the rehab business where we're helping people in rehab, you know that. Yes. Uh, I now just signed a deal with uh, psychology centers where I'm part of eight psychology centers, Cal. Then I own part of an AI business. Wow. Then I'm in the gaming business. Wow. Okay. So I'm in the entertainment business. So I have all these businesses that are moving. Yes. And yet I'm this calm. Yeah. I really am this calm. And it's true. And I've I seen it. <laughs> yeah. You've seen it in, in yeah. different countries, even. And, yes. um, but part of that is because there's a time and a place for everything. Okay. So, like, when you're with your daughter, you're with your daughter. Yes. Okay? When you're with your wife and your daughter, you're, I could see you're very connected to your family. When I'm with yes. my family, I'm very connected to my family. Yes. But when I, when I work, I'm like you. I, I go at it with everything I have. <laughs> so I let people know that. I, I say to them, listen... From eight to three, I'm going to have a different look on my face. Game time. <laughs> yes. It's a different look. Yeah. <laughs> so at that point, you're seeing like zoom, 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 zoom. But yeah, I'm just going check, check. So I'm getting things done. Wow. No, no. And, and it's like like it's like it's a mixture of being like an athlete and, uh, <laughs> and a rock star at the same time, right? <laughs> it's interesting. Right? No, and that's... But, you know, Michael Jordan could do that, too. And uh, Jordan could make you look like he's just, like, kind of, you know, running down the court. And then, bam, he was. So I I think that for young businessmen, you guys need to know when to accelerate. Yes. Because I think if somebody is trying to be on, 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 on 24 hours a day, I think that's when they burn out easy. 
Yes, they get super frustrated and uh, aggravated, and you'll really never see that coming from me. Even if a project doesn't work, I just kind of smile. Yeah, I go, okay, I learned. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that that takes that takes a lot of uh, discipline, right? Because uh, we see, like, uh, you know, and I would think I've personally gone through where you get a little, you get frustrated, but you know, just like you said, like just smiling through it and saying, you know, there's a reason why it maybe didn't work out, but I know having the confidence that knowing that you're going to go through, you know, or there's something better uh, coming out of it, I think that's yeah. extremely powerful, right? Yeah, and it, and the thing is, I'm not going to say that it gets easier, but so I remember losing that on deals when I was a kid and maybe you lost that on like $40, okay? Yeah. And then, but the bigger you get in business, you 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 lost out on 300000 and then someday you may lose that on three million, yeah. but I know I know guys that 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 miss it on fifteen million dollar deals. Like they lose fifteen million in a deal like that. That I I pray ha never happens to you or me. <laughs> no, no, I, I not. But I do know what it's like yeah. to lose several million wow. on a deal, and that is not a good feeling. But I tell you what, the next day I still had peace and I still had joy. And I went and got that money back. Wow. I really did. That's huge. I just, I echo that right back against the wall. <laughs> You're like, let's go get it. Right. <laughs> and, and, and I want to, I want to dive in right into uh, this saying that I think, um, you know, one of your, um, the persons that has worked and you work with, I think is an Ironman, right? Robert. Yeah, it was Robert Downey Jr. Downey, Downey Jr. And I remember um, hearing uh, that he said, just like Tim's story says, the bigger the setback, the bigger the comeback. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a little more context on that? Yeah, number one, Robert's a great guy, Robert Downey Jr. Um, he's just in a, a current movie that's big. And um, Robert is so creative. He's yeah. one of the most creative guys I've ever been around in my entire life as far as um, his ideas, the way he runs his companies now, uh, the way he is in movies. But um, the whole idea, we used to dialogue about setback, comeback not to sit in your setback, not to settle, not to cement yourself. And you can see that he obviously uh, decided not to do that because he went from struggling with certain things that he talks about to being one of the biggest movie stars in the world. Wow. And so I think that's important for everybody to understand. And truly, as Robert said, the bigger the setback, the bigger the comeback. And so even though it can look so terrible for somebody, I mean, I never thought I'd go from seven people in a two-bedroom apartment to the house that I had in Beverly Hills. Yeah. I really never thought that. Wow. I, I, I knew I'd do well, but I didn't know it'd go to that kind of very interesting level. Yeah. No, well, and, and going into that, and that's something that I always hear you talk about, too. There There is, um, um, you mentioned that you talk about there is our vision and then there's God's vision. Yes, 100%. And I love that, you know, the way that, you know, you talk about that. Um, can you bring us more context and to the audience? Like, how does that, yes. uh, how, do, uh, how does that work? Or So the, the, the idea of life is that you have to be very careful on when you make a choice and how you make a choice. So a choice is known as a selection. It's like going to a, to a restaurant, okay? You get a menu. And you look at it and you can make a choice. And then the, the waiter or waitress says, what would you like? You said, this is what I choose. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So when, when, when that happens in life, that's just ordering food. But when, you're, when you are ordering other things in life, watch this. Whether to buy a big house, start a big company, marry this man, marry this woman. Okay? I better really find out, is that a good idea or a God idea? Is that a good idea or a God idea? Because whatever that idea is and that choice, yes, that choice is either going to bring a challenge or that choice is going to bring a blessing and a blessing and a blessing and a blessing. Wow. Really think about this. <laughs> so I want to know. Is this a good idea or a God idea? Because it's different than ordering from a menu yes. at a restaurant. That's just food. Yeah. That's kind of like you're going to eat that within a certain amount of time. This is a 
these are big choices that people are making in their businesses. Yeah. Even right now. Okay, so Tim's story, how do you find the God idea? You stop, you look, and you listen. Wow. That's simple. Because we're so busy, you gotta just stop. Yeah. Okay. And to look, maybe going to mass, maybe going to another church, maybe just getting on your knees, maybe sitting on your bed and praying. But you gotta stop, you gotta look to him, and then you gotta ask him, God, what is your plan? And he will reveal his plan to you. Okay. You just have to listen. Wow. Wow. That's 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 really really, really, really powerful. And um and and and, and it happens, right? You just clearly listen to that voice and give yourself that time and, and, and he'll deliver. Well, I believe that that's why me and you are so close because what happened, <laughs> we were in Switzerland. Yeah. And we were going up the Matterhorn Mountain yeah. on one of the things that we were doing. And as we were going up to the mountain, um, they said that there's certain breaks you could take. So I said, well, I'm going to get off here, see what it looks like. Yeah. And that's when I ran into you. Yeah. And then I had been hearing that people were saying, man, the higher you go up in the mountain, the thing's going to start like going. Like, <laughs> and I was feeling like so peaceful. I'm like, that's kind of the last thing I want in life right now. <laughs> and I don't want to go freeze on the top of the mountain. Right. <laughs> so me and you started hanging out that day. That was a God idea. Yeah. See, but, but I had to hear that this is something. I remember sitting with you even when we were eating lunch, yes. like downloading, like you and him are connected. Yeah. You and him are going to do big things together. Yeah, absolutely. And that is what's happening. A hundred percent. Yes. No, and, and I love that. And I think, you know, like you mentioned, it's, it's important to, to stop a little bit. Right. Cause I, I remember going up there, like I had a mission, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to do this. Yeah. I already had my idea, right. Rolling. And, and then I had Tim say, Hey, Jimmy, I said, hey, um, do you mind? Uh, just let's, let's wait here for a moment. Yes. And, and it threw me off, right? I was like, mm. of course, yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, of course, yeah, it's Tim. And and, and I could have said, oh, well, you, I'm going to, you know, I could have done that. Yeah, I got to go up the mountain. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and that's for sure. It was definitely, I don't think it was a God idea. And and, and just having that um, that time, it was it was really powerful. And I'm grateful that I was able to, you know, to meet you. And yeah. and now, you know, now look, 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 look at us. We're now here, you know, talking. And yeah, but see, that's, but that's God ideas. So the interesting thing about a, a, a God idea is I say this, I say good ideas bring good results. Yes. Good results are good. So if if a company is doing like millions and millions of dollars a year, that's good. Yes. But good ideas bring good results, but God ideas bring God kind of results. Yeah. And that's how you live. That's how I live. 100%. I live with God super on my natural, which makes me supernatural. Yes. Outside of God, I am not supernatural. I'm just natural. Yes. But a God idea on you makes you supernatural. Yeah. That's, pow that's powerful. <laughs> no, a hundred percent. That's like this power, right? Cause and, and, and that's like really, really beautiful. Cause right. You get to tap into, you know, once you pause a little bit, you get to analyze things a little bit more and you're not always such on a, I got to go, 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 go. Right. But you, you get to realize those moments and see how, how God like acts and is telling you, Hey, let's hold on. Yes. And then you see that and you're like, wow, it's very, very good. And, and, and I love that. And I, I also learned that from you too. And I seen it and it's like, you know, cause you know, especially being a little bit, you know, like on, on my age and I'm always trying to, you know, push or get better and right. Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, you know, I'm trying to do the best that I can possible. Uh, but then I also learned it's like, Hey Jimmy, you know, and, and, and you talk about it too, which is really powerful and, and it ties in right into like even leading from the back. Yes. I, we talked, of course. I've listened to that. Um, yes. Uh, when we're in, in, in those calls and, and you mentioned about, you know, sometimes you got to leave from the back. Yeah, what, one, 100%. And I think that one of the, the beautiful things of leadership is like with, with your daughter, okay? Yes. And that I have a son and a daughter. Yes. So I want to mentor my children in a way that I mentor them so well that after a period of time that even though they're my children, they come back and they teach me some things. Yes. And they show me other directions in life. And that's what's happening with my kids now because of their age, okay? 
they're now saying, hey, dad, you should consider this. Or, hey, have you heard this health expert? Or have you heard this guy on the mind? It's people I've never heard of in my life, but it's yeah. coming from their generation, not mine. Wow. Okay. So there's times I don't need to lead from the front, even as a father. Yes. That I can let my kids just go because I've empowered them. Wow. But now I lead from the back because they still know who their dad is. They still yeah. know that the, the dad is guiding them, guarding them, and governing them. But at that point, I'm leading from the back. And in great CEOs, many times, lead from the back. Wow. That is really powerful. And I think not a lot of people get to listen or hear or have somebody then mentor uh, mentor them with that. So, guys, this is amazing. Like, it's this stuff is, like, rare to find. Because, honestly, like, you know, I, w I was here to lead from the front, lead from the front. And, yeah. and sometimes what I've noticed even in, in our companies and I've seen from other companies too, too much being there, there, want to pound your chest and, like, look, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. It could even potentially stir relationships, right? Yeah. Like, in which is like, hey, like, just let me be there. Let me let me kind of try it out, and you could prevent like an opportunity for somebody mm -hmm. you know, because it's like sometimes you gotta step back and say, yeah. And and I think a lot of times it's ego, yes. And so the the thing is, everyone has an ego for a reason. An, an ego can be good because an ego could say, okay, they said I have uh, cancer. But I refuse to die. I'm not going to die. That that ego okay. can be good. It it could fight things off. Okay? Yes. Or or if somebody is coming against you, and something inside you says, no, no, that's not what you should be doing to me. So, but you can sanctify your ego, and you can purify your ego to where your where your ego is correct. So I think a lot of people, they. They get on their grind and they push and they push and they push because they're ego led. Yeah. And they're trying to get to the front, but it's their ego. But if you can sanctify your ego, very powerful. That's powerful. Then I don't mind somebody leading. Like for me, um, you know my style with you. Yeah. I, I'm always excited when you're winning, 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 winning. Thank you. And even as a, a person that you call your own uncle, my way of coaching you is is very subtle. It's just like, you should consider this. Yes. It's never like, boom, 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 boom. Do those seven things. No, you should consider this because you already are a star. Thank but you. I just want to make sure that you make it to the NBA All-Stars every year. Yeah. <laughs> No, absolutely. No, no, no. And, and, I, and I see it. I know. Okay. Cool no. <laughs> see, cause some, some guys are just a star like for three years. Yeah. I coach stars. So I know what it takes to, t to be a star year after year after year after year. Yeah. And that's where you're headed. No, no. Thank you very much. And and honestly, and, and I see it. And that's why, you know, I love the conversations that we had, you know, in the, in the calls. And, you know, when I get to see you and, and, and I, I feel it and I sense it because, like you said, people can do it. There's a lot of people that, you know, that do it short term. Yeah. But, you know, the the methods that, you know, you talk about and um, you, you discuss is long term, right? Because long, long term. term, you impact more lives. You're more sustainable. You have more pain. Everything is everything is long term. So I'll just go through this quickly. Yeah. So from, from birth to 20, we can call the first quarter of life. Okay. Yes. And then, then you have from 20 to 40 is your second quarter. Then you have 40 to 60. That's your third. Yeah. So think how long you have to get even to the third quarter, which is 40 to 60. Just hear this out. Yeah. Then most people have the next quarter, which is 60 to 80. Okay? Yeah. Now, 60 to 80 is where so many people are producing like never before. Wow. Because all the lessons they learned from 20 to 40 and 40 to 60, and now they're at 60 to 80, and they're just tearing it up. So that's why you see these 80-year-old businessmen and women just yes. having the time of their life. Wow. This is very powerful, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so, like... so, so don't push so hard. Yes. And be patient. Yes. Because if you're 24, you're not there yet. You're still in the first quarter. Yeah. You're just getting started. Yeah. 
guys, powerful, powerful stuff. I love that. I love that. I think uh, not a lot of people even get get give themselves the time to analyze some of this stuff, right? Yeah. Because it's always life, life, attack, attack, go out for fires and fires and fires, right? So, wow, this is uh, we're really, really grateful to have you. And um, some of the things um, and I would like to ask you uh, this is like, what is Tim's vision? What, what what can we expect from, uh, you know, for many years more to come for Tim's story? So my my vision is to continue to live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and what I mean by live, uh, Jesus came to give me life and life more abundantly. Yeah. So I, I want to continue to live abundantly, which is like my spirit being alive, my being animated and being creative and just being good. So, so. My my goal is to continue to be go- good, and and I think I'm going to meet my goal, and then out of that will probably come a lot of good projects. <laughs> oh, absolutely, no, a hundred percent, no. I would, I, we definitely have a lot more, you know, of, of Tim, and and I'm sure you, you get you're going to impact many, 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 many more lives, and you know, we're you know we're really thankful to have you here, you know, again, Tim. And I know last time what was it? I, I think it was like like a couple of weeks ago, right? We were yes. talking about some of the. Um, some of the coaching opportunities, I know like it's, it's really, um, you're really specific with, yeah. you know, the work that you do with people, you know, you, you, you want to make sure they're, they're right to fit and good fit. Um, and you and I, I was translating one of your, uh, the lives that we had yeah. and, uh, we, we were doing some of those coachings. Are you somehow somewhat open still for that to maybe open up to some of the opportunity, maybe for some more people where we could have a collaboration or. Yeah, I think, I think that, um. What I would like to do on your platform, we'll, we'll develop something together. Okay. So I think that would be best. Yeah. So we'll 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 take a subject. Okay. And then let's develop something together. 100%. And so for everybody watching and listening, just be looking out for that. Okay. So we'll create something together because I think also uh, it's it's nice as like a mentor to uh, the person who I know is next. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I think that the discussions that we could have and the teachings that we could have okay. can can really help people to be strong from generation to generation to generation. Because we're about as generational wealth. A hundred percent. Yeah. So let's do something together. Let's do it. That sounds uh, really exciting, guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Watch some of the things that we had. We had a really cool live, which we trans- it was in English and uh, also translated in Spanish for those of you guys that are bilingual. I know we have a lot of Latin guys in our inner space, um, and but we also got in English, which is really exciting. So uh, make sure you guys tune in with that. You know, there, we'll put in the links as well. For, I mean, if you, I'm sure you guys already follow Tim. For those of you guys that do not uh, haven't uh, yet follow him, make sure uh, you guys go through. What is the one of the platforms that you mostly use, uh, Tim? Uh, mostly Instagram. So that's Tim Story Official. Tim Story Official. Awesome, great. Uh, if you are not following Tim, now is the time to do it because you know he's. I know he's bringing a lot of. You got a couple of tours. I know you mentioned you, you're going to be in um, one of the biggest um, events, uh, which it was, which one we were just talking about? Yeah. So we, I'm doing, I'm doing, you know, a lot of conferences like I always do. Yes. But I've been doing this Aspire tour. Aspire tour. Which they're doing great. Like they just had Alex Rodriguez and then uh, they have uh, the people from Shark Tank and many other speakers that come. We've been doing a lot of different cities with that. Wow. And so that's been exciting. And, um, just look for me in airports when you're whenever you guys fly. Start looking up at the TVs. Yeah, right. Yeah, you'll see him there. And and if you get a chance, an opportunity that Tim is in your city or in a nearby city, I 100 percent recommend for you guys to be there because what he brings to the stage is amazing, amazing content that it truly will change your life. And uh, once again, Tim, I appreciate the time. You know, I know you're usually traveling all over the world to your own stages. Um, and you know, you do many things, you have multiple business and I really, you know, you know, I respect you a lot. Yes. I care I about you a lot and everything, anything that me and my team could do, like we're here, you know, at, at your service and, and thank you very much. I feel that and I'm proud of you and you guys thank keep you. on watching this podcast. Thank you very much, Tim. Appreciate it. Thank you.